Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello. Back with a very personal Q&A. Mukbang Q&A. My neck hurts. Do you want me to click it? Ah! I'm in my Udi because I think I have sunstroke. I'm really, really tired, but we're gonna eat chicken and I'm gonna feel better. <laughs> we were out earlier. Our manager literally just like, what was it called? Huh? Fucking blindsided us, just kind of like cut right in front of us. I was like, Emily? Yeah. And then she was like, oh, hello. She's with like her boyfriend or whatever. <laughs> and they had Bok in their hand. <laughs> we're like, oh, no way, we really want to try that. Um, and basically what it is, it's like fucking sexy fried chicken. If you've ever been to America and had Popeyes, it literally looks like that. Like so... a bougie version. Do you know like Joshua Wiseman? That tick, that, that YouTuber who does Probably like... Probably don't know who that is. Yeah. Shut your fucking mouth! We're gonna eat some sexy chicken and answer your personal questions that you have given to us. Welcome to the new kitchen! Yeah. In our new <laughs> flat lump... <laughs> what did you think? So... What did you say? Head like... Oi! Oi! <gasps> Oi! Shit! <gasps> Isabella, it's your sauce! My mouth is watering. Oh. Oi! Oh, mate, these are pen. Look at that fucking chicken. Wait, my brother? Emily, if you're watching, this mm. is on you. You cost me 45 fucking pounds. <laughs> How often do we do the deed? <laughs> my no. mum watches it. Yeah. What are you saying, Laurie? How much is the average? Shall we look up? Yeah. Once a week is the common baseline. Okay, we can say we're above average then. Oh! Uh. Oh! Ew! Ew! There's a whole ass bone! A bone? Yeah! What made you decide to move in together? I think that's pretty good. I'll let you go with that one. Obviously, James lives very far from me. So. I don't. I live probably about five minutes, five ten minutes away from me. No, so he's from like Dorset. I'm from Brighton. He saved me throughout lockdown from my like mum's house. Obviously, it isn't massive. And it's like. It just made me realise I want my own space. And people think like, you're already moving in together, what the fuck, but we've been through a lot together. Like, things not many couples have experienced together at a young age, so. If you're gonna go off society, you're never gonna get anywhere in life because mm -hmm. everybody who's made them, made themselves or made themselves into something has not followed the rules. And that's just facts. So. This chicken looking a bit pink, isn't it? Yeah. Mate, if I have food poisoning, I'm gonna be fucking, my toilet's gonna be screaming. It is a bit pink. It is a bit it? pink. I just don't know if that's because it's free range. <laughs> like organic? Oh, it's pink. It's organic. Do you know what I mean? Guess what I saw the other day. You didn't. Last didn't. night. I fucking did saw Audrey. Who's Audrey? Ardy. Oh, Ardy. Why do you keep calling me Audrey? Mate, because he looks like a fucking little you. <laughs> for another day in shoes, isn't it? Walk past me. You smell nice. I called him a little man. <laughs> what are you saying, little man? Um, I didn't do that because I'll probably get bad. Have you guys had an argument to the point you guys nearly broke up? Probably when you got annoyed that I applied to be an extra in my placement. My fucking god! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I just didn't feel appreciated that day. It <laughs> didn't help. If I was this, if I was that fan obsessive of a Margot Robbie and have like. Pictures up of Margot Robbie in my fucking room. Get over and a, it! And a cardboard cut out of Margot Robbie in my room from Wolf of Wall Street, preferably naked. I don't care. You wouldn't care? No. I don't know what I'm ordering tonight. No, you're not. You're away tomorrow, I need company. Oh, so. fuck off. Oh, we've still got these wings. Should we try a wing? Try a wing! Try a wing! Go on, do it with me. Try a wing! Try a wing! Try a wing! Mate, these are dry as fuck. There's no seasoning on this. It's not worth what you're Mate, this is not, this is the... Ch yeah. Amelie, man, you let me down. Okay, this is so typical, but everyone's asking what our body count is. Oh my god. It hasn't fucking changed, has it? I <laughs> bloody fucking hope not. 17. Top. Nah, okay. This whole fucking thing is a shit show. How to deal with divorced parents. Well, the thing is, my parents divorced when I was like five, so I don't... Same! Really oh my god. So I don't know the difference. Same with me, like, I don't remember my family at all with being um, together. As you get older, it's a lot more difficult because obviously if you've lived with your parents for ages together and then you have to 
then they're not there and it's just like that's depressing as fuck i can't i don't know how to feel for them yeah because i don't know what it's like to have a family that yeah, yeah. are that stable <laughs> i don't understand i don't it's surprising me that parents are still together but, oh yeah my mum and dad are still married yeah my, I'm like, what? what every yeah. friend of mine has daddy issues <laughs> i'm not even joking every friend of mine had daddy issues mm. And it just seems like everyone's dad. Was it just picks our off. generation? Yeah. You've got to admit, when your when your mum or your dad, when you're younger, not now, not our age, but when you're younger, you're like 13, 14, you're so used to your dad yeah. or mum, and then they just bring a boyfriend or a girlfriend over, you're like, who the fuck yeah, are you? Yeah, that was weird. That's weird. Because when my mum started dating, me and my sister couldn't really get our heads around it. It was a very, like, uncomfortable Yeah, I hated my mum going out on dates when I was younger. When I was, like, in primary school or secondary school, I hated it. I was like, now you're my mum and no other boys have you. Yeah. I remember when my dad and my stepmom got together, I had the first memory of her is that I stayed at her flat. So my dad was like, oh yeah, you're gonna come down for the weekend. It's like two and a half hour drive. And let's you know, I'm just pulled up at this random girl's house. <laughs> and I'm just sleeping on the fucking floor in the front room. I'm terrified. So every like, half an hour, I'm knocking my dad's door and Tracy, but dad, I'm going to sleep. But obviously, you know, my dad was probably all up in there. You know, trying to have I a good night. Up. Hey! And I'm just there cop blocking. Daddy, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm trying to get all up in it. <laughs> These are all just so sexual. You cheeky naughty fuckers oh, they are. Sex. What's the first time you had sex awkward compared to now? <laughs> oh no, our first time was fucking brilliant. I was drunk. So was I. So I used it. You came on to me anyway. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Are you deleting? Okay. Are you actually so deleting? What happened then? What happened then? I can't say because it's PG in it. How many times a day do you go for a shit? See, I'm constantly constipated. Like today, I haven't even pooed. Mate, I shit like I at least seven I... times a day. Yeah, no, I think I have bowel problems. But you know what they say, cute girls have bowel problems. I shit at least like, I shit three times by 11am. I'm not even joking, I shit like every, every time I go to the toilet. You poo? I shit. Oh my god, what the fuck? That's so weird. Mate, I'm so fibrous, <laughs> it's actually unreal. It makes me like really nervous this evening. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> You find it scary to see my <laughs> naked body. That's fucking awful. I didn't even know men had gooches. No, you think women have gooches. Women do not have a gooch. Women have gooches. Some are smaller, some they are They have women. a taint, not a gooch. It's a gooch. No, it's not. Then why do my friends call it a gooch? Because your friends are fucking weird. Will you guys have kids? Yes. James jokingly says he doesn't want kids, but now I'm start starting to believe he actually doesn't. And that makes me question our relationship because obviously I want children and I can't stay with you if you don't want children. Okay. So. There's the door. It's raw, isn't it? No! If you want to leave, I'll get the house. We're joined on this, like, agreement. So, even if we break up, we still have to pay rent. If she breaks up with me because she falls out of love with me, that's still on her, so she leaves. Yeah. If I cheated, I leave. Whoever's done the wrong thing, or whoever really initiates the breakup, does that make sense? Yeah. Of course I want kids. Fucking hell, man. This is like counsel, couple council. <coughs> a boy called Forrest. Yeah. And a girl called... Jenny. Matt, are you drunk? Indoor voices, please. I'm drunk on food. Did anybody inspire you as a child? Um, probably Selena Gomez. <laughs> I fucking loved her. When you're ready, come and get it. No, 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 no. I used to know the whole dance. When you're ready, when you're ready. <laughs> you just click a fucking bone. And how much arthritis do you. <laughs> I 
surprisingly full of... <laughs> surprisingly, I'm not constipated right now. Billy, we can see ya! Subscribe to my YouTube. Oh, stop. How about that? Oh, stop. My YouTube better. First link in the description.